What's good, YouTube? It's your man Rage King back with another one. Yes, another upload to the channel. And before we get started, ask about please go down there, hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit that share button, hit that bell for notifications if you're new. Welcome to Rebel Rage TV. This is how we do Rage and Rebels. Crown up. And if you're new to the crew, welcome to the Rage and Rebel Revolution. Now let's vibe. And y'all, right here we got Her Smackdown Hotel on Twitter, man. Go give him a follow. The highest rated superstars in WWE 2K23 so far. WWE 2K23 is slated to come out in about two weeks. So they've been slowly but surely drip feeding us the ratings of the characters on the game. So that being said, these are the highest rated superstars for both men and women. We're going to take a look at the ladies first because, you know, why not? At a 96 overall, you got Becky Lynch. Uh, 95 overall, you got Bianca. Now, this is maybe me just nitpicking a little bit. This is me maybe just nitpicking a little bit. I'll admit it. Um, but I think these overalls should be switched. But I don't work at the company, so it is what it is. You got Charlotte at a 94, which I think... Honestly, she could have easily been 95 up here with Becky and, and uh, Bianca, but hey, again, I don't work there. Uh, you got oh, you got Trish, who just made an appearance back on Monday Night Raw here this past Monday. Uh, the 93, you got Ronda Rousey at the 93, and you got Bailey at 91. So, I agree with the top six women being where they're at. I agree that these are the top six women in the WWE right now. And um, just other than a few points in the, in the overall, I'm, honestly, th these are okay. These are okay. But I do think that they got the right women to fill the top slots in that division. I do agree with that. So let's move on to the men. 99 overall, you got the you got the tribal chief, Roman Reigns. I do agree with this right here. He's been absolutely unstoppable for the past three years. Uh, so I do agree with this 99 overall. Hence the reason why I also thought he should have been on the cover or the bloodline should have been on the cover and Cena could have been a pre-order pack. But, hey, whatever. I don't work there for a reason. At 97, you got the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. At a 97, I do agree with that. You got the, the electrifying, the, the most electrifying man in sports and in, in, entertainment. You got The Rock here, Dwayne Johnson. You got him at a 96. So you already know with the John Cena showcase, you already know we're going to get The Rock and John Cena at, at uh, WrestleMania 28. In WrestleMania 29, once in a lifetime, it happened twice. Uh, somebody explain that to me in the comment section. Uh, the 95, you got The Undertaker, man. In my opinion, the greatest sports entertainer of all time. The reason why I say that The Undertaker is the greatest sports entertainer of all time because no one can take that gimmick. Nobody can take the gimmick of being a seven foot tall, bike riding zombie man and make that shit work. And not only make it work, but make it a generational, withstand the test of time gimmick, man. You can literally give, you, you can't give that gimmick to anybody else and anybody else make it work. But you give it to a guy like Mark Calloway, not only does he make it work, but he makes it legendary, all right? So, 94, we got the racist one, Hulk Hogan. I'm just going to keep it at that. At 93, you got the Viper, Randy Orton at 93. Viper, get soon, man. We hope to see you back in the ring, if at all possible. 92 overall, you have Seth freaking Rollins. I do agree with this all the way. Uh, then you got, the, you got the almighty Bobby Lashley on overall 92. You have Rob Van Dam, the whole effing show here at 92. So we're gonna, probably going to get that John Cena versus RVD at uh, ECW One Night Stand for the world title. And then at 91, you have Cody Rhodes. I harshly disagree with this overall right here. Especially when you're going to have him go to WrestleMania to face this man right here and, and very possibly win that championship. He should have easily been right up to where the racist one is. I honestly, to be honest with you, they should either have the same overall or you could have dropped Hogan down here. I promise you, nobody that matters would even give it down. But with that being said, I don't work there. But these are the top rated superstars in WWE 2K23 so far. Whenever they drop more news on the game, I will bring it to y'all, man. I, I got y'all. Don't worry about it. But yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think about the highest rated superstars in WWE 2K23 so far. Do you think they got it right? Is there anybody you would change? Is there some overalls you would change, man? As long as y'all remain respectful and logical, we can have a conversation. But that's the end of my video. Hope y'all enjoyed. It's been a pleasure making it for you, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace out.